So, out of there, internet people. All you guitarists out there, rock on. So, here we are with another Twisted Puppy update. And it's been an interesting uh, few days. So, last update, I think I just, uh, just assembled the uh, um, Ken Wilmot's integrator. And uh, uh, I haven't really been using the integrator function of the op amp, but the, been using the other settings. Um, running it through uh, the RealMark audio program, uh, which has some amazing features, although it's buggy as heck. Um, anyway, I've produced a lot of graphs. I've got, I've been able to make a bunch of pickups now. Um, about eight pickups, all with around 8,000 windings, nearly the, the same amount, all the, all the same number of windings, um, but using different patterns. And I've gotten widely, wildly varying um, values for inductance and capacitance, and uh, consequently uh, um, the peak resonant frequency, especially when, when loaded. Um, out of these pickups. So, uh, and comparing and contrasting this to standard uh, helical patterns that I've wound. So I have just, you know, a, like reference standard pickup winding technique um, and I'm com using that as a baseline, comparing it to uh, these other designs that I've tried, some of them only get 10-15% uh, reduction maybe in capacitance. Some of them almost 50% reduction in capacitance with um, eh, maybe a 15-20% hit on the inductance. So that's not bad. That's a good trade-off. That means a few... So the interesting thing is inductance um, increases with the square of the windings but I'm getting off too much in the technicality right now let me keep it with the update part so I've run a bunch of tests I've analyzed the frequency response get all the peak resonances note all that data got, I created a database in the computer to capture and organize all this data and now and I've got the, the, the graphs are saved into the database. It's, it's all multimedia. I've got pictures of each of the pickup. I'm noting the shape, the dimensions, etc. And, um, and then so I can export from my database program. And I'm using this program, program called uh, VUSES, uh, which I don't know, sort of sa sounds to me like Versus, but it's VUSES. Anyway, it's a great graphing uh, program for scientific purposes, and uh, <laughs> you just can't do this stuff in, in, in spreadsheet software. So um, anyway, that's been extraordinarily useful to help make, make sense of the data I've got so I can plot capacitance versus inductance, peak frequency versus capacitance, inductance, all these things things um, compare see you know what what the field is is looking like analyze different patterns for different trends so um, some of the patterns I've got windings where it's completely tight and then it's like half as many per layer um, and so I'm and I'm and I can do a third or many per layer too so I'm I'm playing with these these variables and uh, studying the result and it's uh, so it's looking quite excellent so far confirming what I was hope, hoping to see but there are surprises as to which patterns really work the best so um, but that's that's going to shake out so now I'm to the point where I, I need to add my error bars with duplicate windings I need to um, really uh, you know, figure out whether whether capacitance does capacitance scale linearly or with the square of the windings. I suspect it's linearly, 
um, which is a good thing because that means I can add with these low capacitance uh, patterns as long as they've got room on the bobbin I can add more windings to get the inductance of a normal pickup but with a fraction of the capacitance for and that automatically will, sh will shift um, I, I think so, some of my patterns shifting the uh, the peak resonant frequency up about 2,000 uh, hertz so that's a that's a pretty decent chunk of an octave um, there around where these uh, resonant frequencies are so that makes a huge difference in the way the pickup um, will sound how clear it will sound in the amplifier so and that's what this is all about this is about scientifically designing and finding the the best guitar pickup instead of in terms of, of clarity and output level getting that that magic combination um, at a at an optimum level now you know I saw I saw I happened to see a video the other day of some guy that I know they did something like 30,000 wines of some like number 46 wire or something like that it was a 39k uh, resistance coil and and the thing sounded like like a like a, a chainsaw stuck in the mud you know on a, an amp on a clean setting this this pickup was was distorted and if you if you added any overdrive in the possibility of what would normally be a minor amount of overdrive for a regular pickup this 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 monster pickup was just you know full full balls out like you had an overdrive pedal uh, hooked up to it but at the same time it was just it didn't have uh, any any real clarity to it uh, so you know I can imagine his his peak frequency was was probably close to 1k or something um, so anyway that's what that's what this is about the twisted puppy uh, experience is about about finding the 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 optimum pickup that, that really gets you know so I don't know I'll I'll put some of these these graphs up on the screens you, you can see that the um, I've got the unloaded and loaded and then there's also a, a graph where I'm determining uh, just exactly what the, the resonant frequency of, of the coil is itself uh, or to to find out the, uh, uh, the measure the inductance it's an inductor test um, result so but anyway um, you, you see how how much there's this typically you know a, a good three or four dB sometimes five dB kick in the end of the, the frequency response right up around anywhere between two three k to, to to five or seven k with with an with an amazing pickup so um, that's a that's that that little hill at the end that's a that's a huge part of, of the sparkle and and that what really brings out the uh, the harmonic frequencies in the notes that you're playing on the guitar so your, your all your fundamental notes are going to be down below these frequencies anyway but these these frequencies that are boosted are are are, are especially important in in the harmonic frequencies that are naturally embedded within your string vibrations and and that's essential to really giving your guitar a full and and magical sound so anyway um yeah i guess that's this twisted but i was going to do a separate video or, or delve into the, the the science of it a bit separately but i think i've, I've covered it all at, at once here um we're still at, at a zero supporters, zero subscribers, or whatever on the uh, the Indiegogo campaign. Um, we're getting down the clock here, just a little more than a week left, I think. Um, so that's a uh, that's a little sad, but we're gonna 
I'm just gonna forge on here. So, um, I got supplies to to do uh, do more experiments with these coils, and um, hopefully soon here we'll find uh, start finding some customers. So, visit the Indiegogo site. I'll put the links on the uh, down below. Visit the website twistedpuppies.com, um, twistedpickups.com, both take you to the same domain. Anyway, um, thanks for watching.